Hello again adventurers, welcome to another exciting day of adventure in Pai, Thailand and today I'm gonna be trail running to Hua Chang and Mai Yen waterfalls so let's get into the vlog Alright, and here I am at the Hua Chang waterfall, which takes about an hour, hour and a half of trail running from Pai. It's not a very tall waterfall, but it has multiple streams coming down these rocks, so it definitely looks amazing. If you're walking here, I think it's gonna take around two hours at least, and you're gonna be walking also crossing the river, so be prepared to get your shoes wet. Also know that this is in December in the middle of dry season so last time it was raining was about a month ago it still looks amazing there's still quite a lot of water coming down now imagine how big and amazing this waterfall must be during the rain season And here I put the camera down on the rock to record myself going down under this biggest waterfall. I'm going under the water for one more time and it's a really good massage when so much water falls on you. As you can see I'm behind the waterfall here where I can breathe normally so it's pretty amazing that you can hide like this behind the waterfall. So always feel the most alive in nature, especially where there is water like rivers or waterfalls. Especially in tropics is a great feeling to cool down when it's so hot outside. Here I'm on another 
trail run to another waterfall. This one is called Mai Yen Waterfall. Trail also starts only a few kilometers from Pai. As you can see here from the beginning, it should take around two hours walking. With running, it should take me about one hour and it's about seven kilometers one way. Same like the trail to Hua Chang waterfall, you're gonna be crossing the river many times. It's impossible to jump over the rocks without getting wet. So you know that your shoes are gonna get wet, so the best is to take sandals if you're walking. As you can see the jungle near the water is much thicker and the trees are much bigger because they have access to more water during the dry season from the river which provides more shade for me when I'm running here. Alright and over here I got to this table which says there is a trail continuing steep up as a bypass. It also says not to continue with the path by the river because it's too dangerous, many slippery rocks here. Alright and in about 10 minutes of running steep up and down the hill I got back to the river. You can see that before the trail was going just by the river but now they made this bypass so I guess the trail was not so good there. Alright and in just a few minutes I'm already hearing and also seeing the waterfall. It looks pretty big. Let's get closer and explore this amazing waterfall. As you can see it's almost 7 kilometers to here, it took me 1 hour and 6 minutes but I could easily make it under 1 hour if I went a little bit faster. So when I came to the waterfall, there was one couple from England who took some pictures and videos of me. So here I'm going again like first time under the waterfall to get some massage but note that the water is pretty cold here. The nights are getting all the way down to 10 degrees celsius in December. The days are still from 25 to 30 degrees celsius. And after I played around a little bit at the bottom of the waterfall, I noticed that there is a little path going on the right, but you have to climb a little bit. She's pretty difficult with all this wetness and slippery rocks, but I made it to the bottom of the second cascade here. 
And from here I see that there is possibility to climb more to the bottom of the third cascade. Looks like it's a very slippery and I could probably climb up but it will be more difficult to climb down. It will be a quite a big fall from here until all the way down there. So now I'm just gonna explore the second cascade here. Alright, and now I'm just gonna have another splash under the second cascade. The water is coming down really strong here. Alright, so it's 11.15 and I should slowly head back, but this waterfall is really amazing. I would recommend it over the first one. You have uh, three big cascades here, uh, but I would not recommend to climb up there because it's too slippery. And if you're not used to climbing, I would not even get up here where I am right now because even that part was quite hard and on the way down it's gonna be even more difficult. And here I'm looking at the route where I climbed again, so I got somewhere here, but even if I climb this hard part till here, there is another big part to the, get to the third cascade, which is even more difficult, so good that I didn't go there. Alright, it's 11.23 and we have another 7.2 kilometers back. So definitely a great waterfall to visit and I would not climb higher than there but if you don't feel like it I would not even climb there because on the way down it's quite dodgy that part over there. So let's do it, hopefully it takes me about one hour, let's go.